Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know, I've received a lot of requests for gun disarming videos. So you asked for it, you got it. I'm releasing a series on gun disarming. Now, these videos are gonna be released in installments, so it's very important to follow them in order. Also, these techniques are unique to my system of self-defense contemporary fighting arts. They've been taught to civilians, law enforcement, and military. Please also remember to like, subscribe, and share the videos to like-minded people. As always, pay attention and good luck. Okay, so now let's get to the actual disarming principles. There's six. The first one is whenever, uh, Mike, can you come out for a second? Whenever a gunman holds you up, you always want to have your hands to the height of the weapon. So if Mike holds me up here, let's say the, the uh, assault position number two, I don't want my hands here. I want my hands to the actual height of the weapon. If Mike can say he holds me up at assault position number one, I don't want my hands low. I want my hands to the height of the weapon, generally the same height level of where the weapon is. Also, you don't want your hands too wide, and you don't want them too close, because if they're too close, it looks suspicious to a criminal. I mean, they may not be the sharpest knives in the drawer in terms of IQ tests, but they're pretty smart when it comes to street smart. So if you have your hands super, super close, it's in a sense, it's telegraphic that you're going to do something. But again, you don't want your hands so far apart, because that's going to be a lot of time that's going to take for a redirection hand to make contact with the actual hand that's holding the weapon. So the most important thing to get here is that the first principle of disarming a firearm is that you want to raise your hand, or if it's not just your hand, it could be a, your arm may be a redirection tool to the height of the weapon, so that's number one. Number two is you want to redirect the weapon, okay? So what you're gonna do is when you attempt a, a, a gun disarming technique, you're gonna redirect the weapon away from the actual target. Simultaneous to that, we have the third principle, which is moving your target out of the line of fire. So if Mike, for example, holds me up over here, I raise my hand to the height of the weapon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to redirect the weapon and simultaneously move my target, which is in this particular case, assault position number one, my head out of the line of the shot. Mike, just drive it up a little bit. So here, this is the motion. Okay, of course it's going to be done extremely quickly. But again, my hands go to the height of the weapon, I'm going to redirect it and then move my target out of the line of the shot. So it's almost like a safety valve. If the redirection hand doesn't do enough of the job, hopefully moving the actual target out of the line of the shot will prevent the actual, um, the actual projectile from um, hitting the target. The next uh, principle is you have to control the weapon. So again, what we're going to do is raise the hands to the height of the weapon, redirect the weapon, move the target out of the line of the shot. Then we're actually going to control the weapon, making certain that any target is out of the line of fire. Now be careful because if you have a spouse or friend or anybody with you, there could be what we call collateral damage. As you redirect it, move the target of the line of fire, and you grab the gun, the gun could discharge and possibly hit a spectator or somebody who's, who's um, in the area or in close proximity to the cis situation of the altercation. So you have to take that all into consideration when doing all of these techniques. And you're going to have to be, basically make all these decisions within nanoseconds. So I'm going to control the actual weapon itself. Then I'm going to actually neutralize the gunman. I'm not going to try to take the gun out of his hand because he's going to fight with might and may to try to hold on to this weapon. He may actually hit me with his hand. He may try to pull the gun out. He may try to point the gun at my body and shoot. He can do a lot of different things. So the idea is once I get control of this, I'm going to try to take him out. And the issue is like, what am I going to do to take this man out? If I let go with one hand and try to, let's say, do Widowmaker or Feral Fighting and try to raise him, again, my entire grip is with one hand, and it, the odds are he's probably going to be able to pull that gun away and take another shot at me. So you're going to have to be able to hold on to this weapon and neutralize this gunman. So how could you do that? Headbutting is critical. Headbutting is a very important tool, an effective tool that doesn't, that doesn't, you don't have to give up any of your grip to try to hurt him. Again, when you hit, use a headbutt, you're going to hit with the frontal bone onto the nose or anywhere in the facial mask. Knee strikes are also effective too. You can drive knee strikes into the thigh, the side, maybe part of the common peroneal nerve. You don't, the groin, generally the groin's kind of overrated. But the problem with the knee strike is that you're raising your leg off the ground and again, you could be vulnerable to losing your balance or um, if it's the, the terrain is slippery, you could fall. So just understand if you want to attempt a knee strike to try to neutralize the, the actual gunman, you could do it. 
but usually the head is more, more preferred. So with the idea behind attacking him or neutralizing him is to weaken him. And then once you weaken him, where you feel that the grip is being lost, then you attempt the actual disarm, and then you take the gun and use it accordingly. So understand these six gun disarming principles. Number one, raise the hand to the height of the weapon. Number two, redirect, redirect the weapon. Number three, move the target out of the line of fire. Number four, control the weapon. Five, neutralize the gunman. And six, disarm the weapon.